In this video we share mystic Maria Voltorta on the mission of the guardian angels. The following comes from Maria Voltorta's notebooks, 1945-1950. The angel Azariah says, people think the mission of the guardian angel ceases with the death of the one being protected. It is not always that way. It ceases, as is logical, at the death of impenitent sinners, and with supreme pain on the part of the guardian angel of whoever did not repent. It is transfigured into festive, eternal glory at the death of a saint who goes from earth to paradise with no stopover for purgation. But he continues as before, as a protection that intercedes and loves the one entrusted to it, in the case of those going from earth to purgatory to expiate and purify themselves. Then we, the guardian angels, pray for you with charity before the throne of God and, along with our loving prayers, present the entreaties offered for you on earth by relatives and friends. Oh, I cannot say everything about how intense, active, and sweet the bond is which goes on linking us to you in purgatory. Like mothers watching for the return of health in a child who was sick and is convalescing, like wives counting the days separating them from being reunited with a husband who has been held prisoner, so are we. Not even for an instant do we cease to observe divine, loving justice and your souls, that are cleansed amidst the fires of love. And we rejoice on seeing that love is increasingly assuaged in regard to you and you are increasingly worthy of its kingdom. And when the light orders us, go and pull him out to bring him here, we rush forward quicker than lightning bolts to convey an instant of paradise, which is faith and hope and comfort for those still remaining to expiate, there in purgatory, and we clasp the beloved souls we worked and suffered for to ourselves and go back up with them, teaching them the Hosanna of Paradise. On April 23, 1943, the morning of Good Friday, Maria began to receive the first of an additional and extraordinary number of dictations, and later visions, from Jesus. She dutifully recorded these in an almost sitting position in bed, in ordinary school notebooks which she supported with a piece of cardboard held on her bent knees. She would write at any time, by day or by night, even when she was exhausted by fatigue or tormenting pains. She wrote effortlessly, naturally and without revision. If interrupted, she could leave off writing and then resume later on with ease. The notebooks written by Maria Voltorta include almost 15,000 pages. Maria died in her room at Via Reggio on 12 October 1961, at 10.35 a.m., the 65th year of her life. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.